Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. This side, Rahul Magan here as a Chief Executive Officer of Treasury Consulting LLP. And today, this time, we are covering an important topic on our YouTube channel, which is DV01, which is shortly known as Dollar Duration of One Basis Point. As the purpose of covering this topic is very clear because a uh, lot of volatility which is happening in the market and especially in the bond market and because of this volatility you know a uh, lot of pricing is getting changed in the market uh, you know especially in bonds like uh, I was viewing the Bloomberg TV and I got to know that the PIMCO has decided to cancel sorry PIMCO has decided to cut the duration of the few of the bonds as per few research reports suggested that the US government is not interested in offering more tips which is treasury inflation inflation protected security as per Deutsche Bank you know uh, the bond portfolio which they are having is coming up the big mess is coming in a big big mess so a lot of talks which are happening in the market some are true some are not true we don't know about that we don't have the sanity of the that but yes one fact which is very sure about uh, which is unsaid is that the volatility is happening in the financial market and especially in the domain of the fixed income market. I would certainly tend to agree with the fact that the fixed income market would face more volatility in the near term considering the fact that uh, majority of the central bankers across the globe they clearly said that they are they are ready to continue with the uh, uh, more quantity more quantity easing than today and if seriously this would happen this would have an implication on the financial markets in the sense like uh, financial markets the yields will get down and there would be more pressure on the yields I'm not sure you know uh, what is their logic why they are really interested to move forward to have more uh, uh, you know uh, more quantity using that but in that regards uh, we came up with a video and in this video we would like to bring to your attention that exactly how to calculate the dollar value of one basis point this is a very important concept and the upcoming video we are going to target how to calculate the weighted average dollar value of a one basis point and there are a lot of other videos as well which are on the Deutsche Bank and which is on the, monet the accommodative monetary policy of the India which is on the China Minsky movement there are several videos which are on the way today and tomorrow so in this what we did we issued a bond which is issued by anybody you can take any name for your reference so what we did we issued a bond and the bond price uh, we assume that it is issued 1st January 2002 right and the face value is 100 it's simplicity face value is 100 and here we assume that uh, the maturity date of that bond is 15th of January 2017 right so it is approximately 15 year bond and if you look at the portfolio of government of India then you will get to know that they have 10 to 15 years of bonds there is no doubt about that now what we did we assume that they have a coupon of 8.07 percent but if you want that for simplicity uh, you can take you can take 8 percent right and uh, here you you can take 8 percent now the current price of the bond is happening it is 100 100.41 it means that the yield uh, it means that uh, the yield is little on the lower side because we all know the relationship that if the yield is low the price would go high if the yield is high then the price would go low so you can clearly see that it is all hypothetical figures so that is a way we not use any any data of anybody so we uh, assume that there is a bond which was issued in the 1st January 2002 and maturity date is first sorry uh, 15th January 2017 which is approximately a 15 year bond. In this the coupon stands at 8% and the price of the bond is 100.41 right. The yield of the bond is 6.64%. Now accrue interest which we calculated you can see the formula of course uh, accrue interest uh, the, the last settlement to be happened on the 16th September 2016 from where we did calculated uh, accrue interest of course on the coupon rate which is 8% and accrue interest is calculated using the basis count convention which is uh, which is uh, actual by 360 method you know that there are variety of basis count convention we have in the market and one of them is actual by 360 method so we use that then we calculated the dirty price this is the dirty price dirty price is the clean price plus the accrued interest 
So the clean price is 100, 100.41, which is the present value of the bond today. But if we add the accrued interest, which is approximately $1.36, so the total turn out to be 101.77. So the bond, which is of $100, having coupon uh, 8% with a maturity of 15th January 2017, having settlement 16th January 2016, is having a dirty price of 101.777. So if you are interested in selling this bond, then you can only be selling if you are if you making any money out of it. But if you are not making any money out of it, you will surely not going to sell that. Uh, you are not going to sell that in the in the market. The best part is to say that you know we already had a word about the mac duration. That mac duration is nothing but the macular duration. But nonetheless, we calculated using a formula which is duration. You can see it here. In duration, we are taking the maturity date, settlement date, we are taking the yield and here we are assuming that coupons are payable once, uh, twice in a year. So it means to say it's a semi annually kind of situation and the basis count convention we taken 4, right? And then uh, we taken 4. Now what is macular duration? We already mentioned in our earlier videos but let me repeat again. Macular duration is nothing but a weighted average duration. Now. But so now here the macular duration is coming 0.33 years. This is in years, right? This is in years, 0.33 years. Now this means that if they if the bond price will change by 100 bips, 100 basis point, then there would be an impact in the bond value by 0.33 percent. Now now this 0.33 percent is the weighted average, right? It has not yet discounted. The henceforth, sometime macular duration is also known as weighted average duration. And this macular duration is a linear measure. It is not a non-linear measure. Now, what do you mean by non-linear measure? Although, if we consider today's example, then we very well know that uh, there is no doubt about the fact that, uh, you know, uh, the so-called uh, the bond prices are are into the negative territory and they are not swinging by more than one percent to be honest they are not swinging by more than one percent but assuming in the sake of simplicity that suppose they swing by more than one percent then in that sense then in that sense you would have convexity this is a non-linear measure although this video do not talks about convexity but uh, in that sense you would have a non-linear measure and in the event of the non-linear in the event of the non-linear non measure, you are not supposed to use the macular duration. You are supposed to use the convexity. Now it's again depend whether you are going to use effective convexity or you are going to use uh, simple convexity. That is something which we need to check because effective convexity is just like a timeline. Now what do you mean by timeline? Timeline means you know that uh, if uh, if it is going to be swinging by 3% here and there both ways then you are going to calculate the effective convexity. So this was the basic thing which we wanted to cover in this video. Here comes the most important stuff which is the for which we made the video. Now in this what we did we calculated PV01 present value of first we calculated the modified duration. Modified duration formula is known to you. Modified duration is macular duration 1 divided by 1 plus YTM. So you are going to discount the macular duration by the yield to maturity and you will get to know about modified duration, right? If you have two options, macular duration and modified duration, it is all, always important for you to calculate using modified duration. Don't use macular duration because this is a weighted average, this is the weighted average measure of the game. So always use the modified duration. But all these we talked about, everything we talked about here, this is percentage change in bond price by 100 basis point and 100 basis point is a big number. We need to appreciate that 100 basis point is a big number, it is not a small number. So it mean, you mean to say that sitting today when almost 13 trillion dollar of the global sovereign debt are in the negative territory then 1% swing means 100 basis point and believe me if this would happen then majority of the international uh, media channels especially like Bloomberg TV and all they are going to cover like anything in that regards right so trader is not in trader technically can calculate that what do you mean by one basis point 
but trader is more interested in calculating what what is what is an impact on uh, what is an impact you on one basis point and here comes his pv01 present value of one basis point pv01 here we go so what we do in this we are going to increase the yield by one basis point now you can see in the formula like especially here you can very well see that this is the yield and I increase the yield by one basis point and if I increase the yield the price will decrease and ultimately this would be a loss to me and you can PV01 is a zero sum game so how much you are losing how much you are minting as simple as that almost I'm not saying exactly it is almost it is a it is a kind of a zero sum game so but exactly which is happening here is that we are taking PV01 present value of one basis point we are increasing the yield by one basis point and we are assuming we hereby assume that that if today my yield is approximately 6.6430 then what would if my yield would increase to 6.6431 so if I would have that, what would be and what would be the impact I would on my bond price, and that impact would be in the that impact would be in the dollar terms. This I suppose is 0 0.00329 dollars. So per bond you have 0 0.00392 dollars. Assuming you are having a portfolio of hundred thousand bonds, assuming for a simple. Then you have an impact of approximately $330. And here comes DV01 F2 dollar value of one basis point. Now the Maculate duration which you calculated talks about 100 bips. Change in the prices by 100 bips. But I am interested in calculating change in the prices by one bips so I know that my duration is approximately 0.33 years so if change would happen then my duration then my bond price will swing by 0.33 years I know this very well but I am more interested in calculating if the change would happen if the what would be the change if of pertaining to what would be the change basically uh, wait a minute just give us one minute what would be the change if basically dollar duration is the change in the price in the dollars not in percentages gives the dollar to dollar variation of the bond value uh, per unit in the yield which is also known as dv01 so pv01 told me that what would happen if the yield would change by one basis point but I am interested what would happen if the duration will increase by one basis point. So what would be the impact of one basis point on the duration. Now how I would calculate I know it's a plain mathematics. I know if I change the bond by 100 bips or 1% then I would be here which is I am taking mod duration 0.3199 you can take 0.32 approximately right. But what would, if this is 100 bips, I want this to be reduced by 1 bips. So what I did, I used a simple formula, I write here, I will do bond price, which is present value, not to mention, into mod duration, shortly known as mod D, into 1 bips, 0.01% and enter. This is what I did here, DV01. You can calculate. You can see that we have taken a bond price 100.41 which is the present value. Now there can be some disconnect in this. Now the disconnect is that some members might ask some members might ask for accrue interest in that. So it is up to you whether you wanted to take an accrue interest or not. But we are taking we are taking only the present value. So this is how we calculate the dollar duration. Uh, it's simple bond price into mod into modified duration into 0.01 percent 
यू आर ऑलवेज वेलकम टू कनेक्ट विद अस एट आर ईमेल आईडी सब मेंशन बिलो ट्रेजी कंसल्टिंग एनएलपी एट द रेट जीमेल डॉट कॉम ऑल्टरनेट ईमेल आईडी इस आउट मगन एट एट द रेट जीमेल डॉट कॉम एंड हेयर वी गो वी थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड सी यू सून थैंक यू